Hello, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at a liner basin installed. Now, typically your, your basin goes about an inch above the surrounding grade, that way if you get a heavy rain, it doesn't wash into your basin. But sometimes you need a larger footprint or a wa larger water collection area than a typical basin will give you. So what we've got here is a 4x4 four four basin, and then we've got a 10x10 garden pine liner right here and we're going to have, you can kind of see where we've got this burned up. Now keep in mind, this is still rough. We're in the process of doing this. But we've got our basin set. We've got it uh, level, and we're gonna be putting this rubber liner in here, and then we'll put our support cinder blocks in on top of that rubber liner, and then the grate goes in. And then once we do that, we're gonna fold the liner back in. Uh, after we fold that liner back in, we're gonna take this uh, burn here, pack it down, uh, backfill against our liner after we got our grates in there. You want to be able to put your grates in first because once you start packing and squeezing in on that basin, it'll be hard to get that uh, those grates in there after you've done that. So make sure you put your grates in prior to backfilling against there. Then we'll take a hand tamper and we're going to tamp this down. And then your liner goes over top and any water that might be hitting over here is going to make its way back into the basin. That way it's all going to catch a collect a bigger area. This fountain we're put on here is probably going to splash, you know, well without in here. So that's the objective is to catch it. And that is outside of the base, the actual basin footprint itself. Right now we've got the cinder blocks in here. We got the rubber liner spread out. You can see what we've so far. This is the next step. So the rubber liner's in, cinder blocks in. Now we're going to be putting the grates in. Then, like I said, we'll fold the rubber liner back in. We'll backfill around the basin and then grade that soil out there to slope back in toward this basin. Now the way we're setting this up, this is the North Carolina basalt. Uh, he has an electrical plug in right over here. You always want to consider that. Where, you, where is your electrical hookup? So we're going to put the pump access panel back here in this corner. You know, if we have the cinder blocks away from that corner, we want to leave room for the pump to go right there. So we don't want to crowd that over and put cinder blocks right there. We're also going to come up through the middle of our grate system to run our, our flexible tubing. So right here in the middle, we're going to have a gap between these cinder blocks. So we can run that tubing up through there and attach it to the bottom side of that rock. Right now, make that gap. So you see we got just a wide enough gap right there. Now in these two, these four by four basins, you have a split grate. Uh, if it's three by three brace, that basin, you only have a one piece. So this is a split grate, so we want to support that grate right there in the middle. That's why we have those cinder blocks running straight up the middle. Okay, now we've got the berm tamped around the perimeter there. You can see that. You probably can't see it in this video, but it is sloped back in toward the basin. So what we're getting ready to do right now is unfold that liner out onto the berm. Okay, here we have the liner basin install. You can see we've got that burned up all the way around there. Uh, that's probably about an eight foot footprint, I would say. Eight foot square footprint. You can see the way the water's splashing. We haven't put any rocks or anything on it, so you can see it's splashing up there. You can see the liner right around the edge there. So you're catching any of that water that's hitting on that liner. It's going to flow right back into the basin, which is what the liner basin install does. So now you covered all of it with stone. So if you don't see any of that right liner or basin, and you're done. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny at southerngraceva.com. 